Has your beloved feline friend been acting a little under the weather lately? As a cat owner, it is important to be aware of the signs that your cat may be ill. Cats are notorious for hiding their illnesses, so it's very important to pay attention to any changes in their behavior or appearance. In this video, we'll look at eight common signs of health problems that indicate your cat may be ill. In nature, most living things are very good at hiding their illnesses. Especially those that are hunters or prey try not to show their illnesses to the outside world because of their instincts. They don't want to be easy prey and try to continue their daily lives. When their condition becomes critical and they become weak, they may retreat into a corner. We never want to encounter something like this. For this reason, in order to get a clear answer to the question, is my cat sick? You should observe your pod friend and take note of the differences, if any. Each symptom can be a sign of a different disease. The complaints reported to the vet are very important for diagnosis and treatment. With early intervention and rapid diagnosis, you can support your cat to return to its old life easily. If you are worried that your cat is sick, it means that you have sensed or witnessed differences in your cat. You can, of course, seek veterinary advice to reassure yourself. However, you can take into account the eight signs that your cat is sick, which we will explain in this video. One, body temperature. The normal body temperature of cats is 38, 39 degrees Celsius. An increase in body temperature can be a sign of a health problem in cats. Therefore, if you think your cat has a fever, it is important to take it to your veterinarian immediately. To measure the body temperature of cats, you can use a digital thermometer. You can use the thermometer by inserting it into the cat's anus or inserting it into the ear. Cat's ears are a good place to measure body temperature. However, cat's ears can be affected by the ambient temperature. Therefore, after measuring the temperature of the cat's ear, wait 10 minutes and measure it again. If the ear temperature is still high, your cat may have a fever. Cat's ears and paws are the first areas to get cold or hot. They are the organs most quickly affected by room temperature. Therefore, if you think a cat has a fever, you can also take its temperature by checking its ears or paws. Two, diarrhea. Diarrhea can cause serious problems in pod friends, so it's important to get it under control right away. Early intervention can speed up the treatment process and ensure that cats lose less energy and recover faster. Changing the cat's food regularly and in a balanced way and not paying attention to the diet can increase the risk of diarrhea. Understanding the underlying cause of diarrhea is very important. Checking your pod friend's feces while cleaning the litter box can help you detect potential diseases early. Three, bad breath. In cats, as in us, dental and gum problems can cause bad breath. However, for feline health, dental problems are a serious issue and can significantly affect quality of life. We humans can find solutions to dental problems in a variety of ways, but it's different for cats. Therefore, if your cat's bad breath is bothersome and persistent, it should be evaluated by a veterinarian and should not be neglected. Quatre, aptite. Cats, like us, change their appetite when they are ill. Physical problems often cause a loss of appetite. Psychological effects can vary. Some cats may eat more when they are depressed. For this reason, differences in appetite are also among the symptoms of cat illness. Cats can be happy eating the same food, and every food brings the same excitement and joy. Therefore, Refusing food or turning up their noses is a sign that cats need to be monitored. Of course, sometimes they may not want to eat right away. If there is no change in appetite as well as no difference, you shouldn't worry right away. Diseases are usually characterized by a few symptoms. Five, water drinking changes. Cats generally drink a constant amount of water per day. However, it can increase in hot weather or after exercise. However, these increases are usually not too much. If your cat is drinking much more water than usual, this could be a sign of a health problem. Diseases such as urinary tract infections, kidney disease, or diabetes can increase the amount of water cats drink. If you notice a change in the amount of water cats drink, it is important to consult your veterinarian. Your vet can perform the necessary tests to determine the cause of the change in your cat's water intake. Six, overcleansing. Cats are very fastidious animals when it comes to cleanliness. They love to lick themselves clean. They may also lick their kittens, their mates, and even the people they love. 
However, their cleaning behavior can change due to psychological or physical problems. Excessive grooming can be a sign of a problem. Excessive grooming can be a sign of stress in cats. It is thought that cats try to relieve themselves by licking themselves. Stress-inducing situations include a new home or family member, another animal in the home, illness, trauma. Excessive grooming can also be a symptom of a skin disease in cats. Cats are thought to try to relieve skin problems by scratching or licking themselves. Conditions that cause skin diseases include allergies, parasites, fungal infections, skin cancer. So what should we do? If you observe excessive cleaning behavior in your cat, it is important to take your cat to your veterinarian. By examining your cat and performing the necessary tests, your vet will be able to determine the cause of excessive grooming and prescribe the appropriate treatment. Seven behavioral changes. Kittens are very energetic and curious creatures. Therefore, they are always active and want to explore things around them. This can lead to mischievous behavior. As cats grow older, their energy decreases and they become calmer. However, there may be changes in their behavior depending on their age. For example, adult cats may prefer to be more solitary. Older cats may need more attention and care. Behavioral changes do not happen all at once. They happen over time. Therefore, it is important to observe your cats. If you notice a change in your cat's behavior, you should consult your veterinarian. Eight, increased meowing. Cats meow more when they are bored, restless, or sick. We need to observe your cat in case it is suffering. Look for other signs besides increased meowing. As we come to the end of the video, I would like to remind you, one of the most important things you can do to maintain your cat's health is to take them to the vet regularly. Your vet can check your cat's general health and help to detect any health problems early. As we come to the end of this video, we would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed the content and information we shared with you. If you did, please click the like button below. Your positive feedback motivates us to create more informative and engaging content. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to make sure you never miss a video. By subscribing to our channel, you become an active member of our community. Your participation inspires us to create more content that matches your interests and preferences. So thank you for being part of our community. Hope to see you in our next video. Take care and goodbye.